The Natahala River was listed by Trout Unlimited as one of the top 100 trout streams in the United States. It is a long stream offering several very different types of fishing opportunities. The lower section runs 8 miles through the Natahala Gorge and is popular with kayakers and rafters. The stream here is stocked and some large fish have been taken. The water flow is influenced by the power dam operation. Hi, it is difficult to wade, but you can still catch brown, brook, and rainbow trout in the eddies along the shoreline. Above the powerhouse, there are nearly four miles of delayed harvest water, which is heavily stocked from October to June. There are about 20 pullovers along the road here, and I have seen some days when every spot has a car in it. It is popular water because the fishing is so good. After June, most of the fish get harvested. Anne is upset here because she just lost a brown trout which she claims was 20 inches long. The fish that don't get caught grow large. Above Mystic Falls, there are three and a half miles running through a gorge that are stocked with lesser numbers of fish. You have to park along the road and climb down to fish it. Just remember, you're going to have to climb back up. This area gets much less pressure in the delayed harvest section and may produce some action. During the summer, this area gets low due to the water being diverted to the powerhouse and is not good to fish. For the first eight miles upstream of Natahala Lake, the river runs through the private Rainbow Springs Club. But south of Highway 64, there are seven miles of good access and good fishing through the Natahala National Forest. This is a pristine area. Wild rainbow trout are the main fish found in the stream. A forest service road runs near this entire portion of stream and there are trails leading you down to the water. There are a number of smaller tributaries that offer additional fishing for wild rainbows. <laughs> 